And this morning's Moms Everyday Minute, Carol from Shriners Hospital joins us this morning. You're a child life manager. When parents and children go to Shriners Hospital, or for any hospital uh -huh. for that matter, surgery is a scary thing. Absolutely. So how can yes. parents prepare their child for any kind of medical operation? I think what they need to do first is, is prepare themselves because studies have shown that the more nervous and upset a parent is, mm -hmm that will be absorbed by their child and they will feel it no matter what. So a parent needs to know what's going to be going on. So ask good questions with, of the physicians, um, care coordinators, people that can give them answers. And then talk about it with your child in a upfront way, not a laughing, joking way. You know, we've had parents say, oh, they're going to come in and they're just going to cut off that toe and blah, 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 blah. And then it <laughs> won't hurt when they do the real surgery. I mean, people joke and that's right. how they work with it. But kids take things literally and sometimes they don't know how to distinguish between that. So what we advise at Shriners Hospital for Children is to advise your child, take how old they are and that many days before the procedure is when to talk to them. Okay. So if you've got a three-year-old, you can do two or three days before, but three weeks before, they're not gonna understand or grasp mm -hmm. the time. Teenagers need more time. So the more time you can give them to process, adolescents need time to process what's going on. Something we hear often about Shriners is something called positions of comfort. Explain yes. that. That is a relatively new, meaning in the last 10 years, philosophy of instead of lying your child down for a procedure, whether it's a blood draw, a shot, or something else, and having five people hold that child back, it's holding the child upright, hugging them to the parent or a caregiver, and then, for instance, a blood draw, the professional can bring one arm out and take the blood draw while the parent's hugging them. It wow. still hurts, yeah. they still may cry, but it reduces the trauma. Every child, from the time they can open their eyes, they are striving to sit up and to be upright. And especially, you know how it is when you change diapers, mm -hmm. you lay them down and they whack out. Well, it's the same thing, they only they're over, being they traumatized. Scream, they hate it, exactly. I hear you. Exactly, so it's using cuddling. And you can use it for all ages. I've had kids that are 10 years old that sit on their parents' lap and maybe just being held from the back so their hands are, are comforted and also helps in keeping them from grabbing things too. So it's really using that philosophy to emphasize comfort for your child. And probably a really special moment to then watch. Yes, exactly. It's Carol, exactly. thank you so much. Nice Truly to meet appreciate you, you having thank us you. here today. Thank More you. information, myfoxbocan.com.